Hi, my name is Meredith Holborn. I'm a technical account manager at Amazon Web Services, and today I'm here to talk to you a little bit about the Kudos dashboard, part of the Cloud Intelligence Dashboards framework. Kudos was built on Amazon QuickSight, Amazon's business intelligence service, and it utilizes a few other native AWS services under the hood, including Amazon Simple Storage Service, or S3, AWS Lambda, Amazon Athena, and AWS Glue. Kudos can be deployed in either an automated or manual fashion into your AWS accounts. The dashboard aims to provide answers to simple but granular operational questions. Our customers gain insights into their AWS spend because it breaks down usage charges into multiple visuals. These visuals can be used to review things at a high level, or they can be used to dive deep into a specific area. In this video, we will talk a little bit about some of the notable features of the dashboard. The first functionality of the Kudos dashboard to highlight is the controls we see at the top of each sheet. Selecting values from these controls will apply it to all visuals on every sheet. So if we are only concerned with viewing the data for a few specific linked accounts, we can select them here and all the visuals will refresh to filter based on the data relating to those linked accounts only. The first sheet displayed when we load the dashboard is a billing summary, and it's a great place to start to review the accounts from a very high level. How much is being spent monthly and what services are attributing the most to our spend? So let's take a look at this billing summary sheet. To start, we have some details around monthly spend over the last three months. A common theme throughout Kudos is a look back over the previous month's trends. This is an easy way to highlight any anomalies in the spend at a quick glance. Next, we have the invoiced and amortized spend bar charts, which will be grouped by the payer accounts. Then we see the same data, but now grouped by product in a stacked bar chart. In any of the stacked bar charts throughout the dashboard, we can hover over the columns to see the individual values that contribute to the total. After this, we see an overview of all the credits and refunds applied. And finally, a view of the top 10 spending accounts over the past three months. The other sheets inside Kudos a pattern that displays focused data on specific products based on the content of the sheet. So this compute summary shows us data around the different purchase options, operating systems, running hours, and instance family relating to Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud. AWS Fargate and AWS Lambda are included in this compute sheet as well, and they have similar types of visuals to EC2. The storage summary sheet breaks down the data specifically around the storage services that are not Amazon Simple Storage Service, which has its own sheet. It contains data relating to Amazon Elastic Block Store, including cost per volume type, daily charges grouped by operation, and the overall snapshot spend per account. Also on this sheet, there are graphs relating to Amazon Elastic File System and Amazon FSx services organized by account, region, usage type, and operation. Spend some time reviewing the default visuals for the services that you use most often. There are over 200 included in the Kudos dashboard. Another great feature of the Kudos dashboard is the ability to filter from a visual just by clicking on it. Keep in mind not all visuals support this function, but the month over month trend sheet demonstrates this really well. If we want to zoom in on the specific spend and usage related to an AWS service, we can simply click on it from this list. Let's choose Amazon SageMaker here. The accounts list on the right will update to show any accounts that have a line item in their invoice relating to the product selected. If there's an account that's using a service they shouldn't be, or the monthly cost is higher than expected, we can start to dig into that through Kudos. The last thing I want to highlight in this video is the Optics Explorer. It's an extremely flexible sheet in the Kudos dashboard that allows you to slice and dice your data however you need to view it. This sheet can replace very complex SQL queries in Amazon Athena with just a few clicks. To begin, we choose our start and end dates. 
we'll choose March until the end of July. Then we select a group by option, which most of the visuals on this sheet will use to group the data. Then we can pick and choose any number of these filters in order to drill down into the data we need to investigate through the visuals below. Let's choose a couple of the services that don't have pre-built visuals, Amazon Macy and Amazon Neptune. Now we can have a look at the visuals on this sheet. They have all updated to reflect data only relating to Amazon Macy and Amazon Neptune between March and July. Keep in mind that this video is just touching on the dashboard as it's deployed initially. QuickSight is a very powerful service and once you have access to the Kudos dashboard in your AWS console, you can create an analysis. Inside the analysis, you can do things like permanently filter out certain data, you can add additional controls to the top of the sheet to make filtering your visuals a lot simpler. You can change the type of bar charts that are shown, even update the color scheme to match your business. In addition to all that, the analyses are key to configuring the Tag Explorer sheet. This has been an introduction to the Kudos dashboard. We'd love to hear how it's helping your business gain insight into your AWS spend. Thanks for watching.